Some people have no respect for him today. Not anybody in here, but have me know what I'm talking about. There are people that have no fear of him. Do they, Nathan? They have no fear of God anymore. They have no honor for God anymore. Boy, I like the way those Jews do. They, 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 they won't even speak his name. When they write his name, they put G and they put a, a line there. They have so much respect for him. Don't you respect him? Have you ever said something dumb that you thought hurt his feelings, grieved him? I have. Man, I've you know, been joking around sometimes to say something. I say, oh, God, forgive me. Please, Lord, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. You know, he's good. Of all people, I, I, I don't want to hurt nobody, but I don't want to hurt God. I want to love on him. He's worthy. He could have left us Gentiles out. I was watching a preacher. I'm trying to close. I was watching a preacher this week. He's a doctor. His name's Tony Evans. He could preach good. He's not Pentecostal. He could preach good. I was listening to him. It was so wonderful, a message on salvation. It was so wonderful. It was just so beautiful. And all of a sudden, he got off into error. I mean, Dobson plays him on his network. He said that he said it that at the cross the the Godhead was ripped apart. That Jesus became a sinner. And God turned his back on him and said, Go to hell. And what is that? It grieved me. It hurt me. So God helped that man. What he's saying is that Jesus became sin and died spiritually and was torn from the Godhead. That's not true. Jesus became the sin offering. He was the Lamb of God. He died physically. The sins of the world was laid on his body. It was ripped... It, 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 it was ripped. It was like the curtain was ripped. <laughs> you know, we got access through his, the body was the, the sacrifice. He was the Lamb of God. He never died spiritually. The Godhead was never separated. He never went in the center of the earth at the mercy of Satan. He went in the center of the earth as the Son of God who left his body in a tomb, but he was going to be back three days later and pick it up. Hallelujah. You say you're mad at that guy? No, he just picked up on something that is heresy. The Godhead was not ripped apart. Are you with me? The sin was placed on the human body of Jesus. He did not, he did not have to be born again like us. He is the firstborn of many brethren in the resurrection. Are you with me? Not spiritually. He never died spiritually. He died physically. He did not have to be born again like a sinner. He never ceased to be God. You say, prove it to me. He didn't say, Satan, into thy hands I commend my spirit. What did he say? Father, in thy hands. Come on now. In my and in into your hands, Father, into your hands. Say, Father, into your hands. I commend my spirit. Can you see Satan overriding the Father and say, Let me have it? No, the Father didn't rip apart the Godhead. Jesus never ceased to be God. He can never cease to be God. He was God. And he always will be God. In the beginning was God. He was always God. He will always be God. Hallelujah. I'd like to have a talk with that man. He's smarter than I am. He knows more of the Bible probably than I do. But I need to talk to him about that right there. Because I don't think he knows what he's doing. Because I've seen his heart. I know he's... 
How many know your heart can be right and your mind can be wrong? But that is very dangerous to say you ripped apart the Godhead. Can't nobody do that. Hallelujah. Let me read this. Look at somebody say, they can't nobody take my birthright either. And I and look at somebody say, I'm Piedmont. I ain't from Piedmont. I may be from Judson Dunny in there somewhere, but I sure ain't giving it up. <laughs> we talk like that in Piedmont. Look at somebody say, we sure ain't giving it up. I, no, we ain't giving it up. Ain't going to let nobody take it either. We know where our bread's buttered. Amen. And Jesus is the bread. He the honey. Amen. In this spiritual land that we're in, it's flowing with milk and honey. Glory to God. Look at somebody say, many are, many are called. <laughs> Woo, let me read this. Look at Esau. Look at somebody say, Esau, didn't, he wasn't right. Genesis 25, read this, we'll go. Genesis 25, verse 31. And Jacob said, Send me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point of, I'm at the point of to die. And what profit shall this birthright be to me? He put no value on his birthright. Everybody you see going to hell that has knowingly rejected Jesus has knowingly rejected the birthright. Now you can pray that dumbness off of them. Look at somebody and say, you can pray that stupidity off of them because I know because somebody prayed that off of me. Look at somebody and say, I was there. I was there. I was in the same place they were in and somebody prayed for me. Hallelujah. Somebody got a hold of God for me. Hallelujah. May have been somebody I didn't even know that passed me. It said, God saved that dude. He's acting like a nut. Get a hold of him. Glory to God. I'm glad prayer can change things. Amen, Isaiah. Let me read this. We got to go. How many of y'all used to act like a nut? Look at this. And Jacob said, send me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, behold, I'm at the point to die. What profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, swear to me this day. And he swore unto him and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. How many know Jacob was the youngest at that time? Esau grabbed him <laughs> I mean, there's a fight in the womb there. These people have been fighting ever since the womb. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, rose up and went his way, and Esau despised. Look at that. He despised his birthright. Israel despised their birthright. But I want to tell you something. The Romans, although they carried it out, did not kill Jesus. The Jews, even though they carried it out, helped carry it out, they did not kill Jesus. Jesus said, I could send for legions of angels and stop this right now. He was a sacrifice. He willfully laid down his life for us. Are y'all with me? Whew. They didn't have the power to do what they did. But he was the sacrifice, the redeemer of all mankind. He could have said, Father, send the angels. He could have wiped out that whole place all the way back to Rome. But he laid his life down for us.